Welcome back to the channel, Scott, Scott's Reviews. Like, subscribe down below to keep this channel kind of moving. And today we're talking about speaker phones, but not just any old speaker phone that you want to get just so you have a higher volume when you do a conference call. This is, this is, this is good. Anchor has developed a way to block out your background noise around you. And this is very important, especially when you work from home. My wife works from home. She has a lot of meetings all the time. That's all she does is meetings constantly. And her biggest complaint is the dog barking, the kids coming home from school, me being loud or whatever it is, it's unprofessional when it comes to her meetings. And she needs to find a way to cut that out. She closes the door, she tries to go in a small space so it's quiet, all that kind of stuff. This is a tool that she can definitely and will use once I'm done reviewing it in her office environment. So if you're out there looking for a speakerphone because you work from home and it's busy and loud around you, this is an amazing little device. So what does it do? Well, first off, let me tell you what it is. It's from Anchor. It's called the S600 speakerphone. This is the box here that it comes in. I'll show you all the stuff that comes inside here in a sec. But I just want to give you a quick shot because if you're skipping around videos trying to figure out, do I watch this video or not? You watch it. Why? Because I'm going to look at this speaker tell you all what, what's going on with it, what's in the box. I'm going to do some testing with it and a setup process where it learns and understands your voice compared to background noise. So we're going to test the speakerphone. We're going to set up a microphone and a phone on speaker. And so you can hear exactly what you would hear if someone was using the speaker and cutting out the background noise. So we'll get both sides. We'll get the, the resulting end of what it sounds like. And then we'll demonstrate what the, the background noise I'm pumping. So I'll add in some, some barking, some crowd noise, that kind of thing. We'll do some snapping. And I'm actually gonna show you that it's cutting it out too on the other end. Hey, I wanna stop right now and let you know that if you listen to this video toward the end, you're gonna find out how to save this speaker through Kickstarter. Did that go the way you thought it was gonna so go? Watch it to the end and you'll find out how this all works yep. out. This kind of looks like the Bose Revolve speaker. That's what it reminds me of the shape and, and the size and the weight and kind of stuff like that. Uh, does it sound like that? Uh, probably not. It's more built for an office environment, which is good. You don't really want a booming speaker with a lot of good bass in an office environment. So if you're gonna use this, not just for speakerphone, maybe you have it playing some of your music on the side at low volume as you do your work. Perfect. Yep, perfect. All right, let's get into the details. Real quick, I'm going to show you what comes in the box. USB-C plug here. It's actually a pretty nice textured plug. It is 15 volt, 30 watt charger. It comes with two USB-C cables uh, because there are also two inputs and outputs. So one's, one's for charging and one's for data. So they give you two separate USB-C cables uh, in the box. And that's pretty much it. Instructions, two cables, and a charger. So there's your unboxing. On the box itself, it talks about um, voice recognition, which this is the main feature of this scene. 16 hours of battery life, 360 sound. Uh, on here, I just looked around. There are four separate microphones. There's two right here and two in the back, I guess you could say, for picking up your voice. Also buttons on the front, you have a play button, a volume down button, a phone indicator, which probably ending and, st and, and starting your phone call, a plus button for volume, and then a noise cancellation button on the side. In the back, we have a power button and a Bluetooth connection physical buttons on the back. Then we have the top, which is the wireless charger that you put your phone on for wireless charging, just to show you that it's not gonna fall off. And then you can rotate it horizontal or vertical, whatever you wanna do. Most of the time you're probably gonna be doing like, just like that for vertical conference calls. If you're not doing work and you're watching some videos like mine, then you could put this on your desk at low volume and then watch different videos, stuff like that on YouTube or whatever you wanna do. Uh, do as you do your work. So that's nice to have. 
So one of the questions is why? Why did Anchor develop this product? So from COVID, a lot of things have happened where we start working from home a lot more. Now, a lot of companies are going back to work some, half at work and you're half home, or it's a mixture of both. Everyone has different permissions to do certain things. Home environment has become more of an office environment than any time I think ever in our history. There's a need for having good quality home office stuff to make it feel more professional. So you have people doing virtual backgrounds, all that kind of stuff when you do Zoom calls. But having good audio is, is one of the key things. Anchor has come up with a way to, to kind of do two things at once. To keep your phone charged and juiced up while you're on a good conference call and then cut out the background noise. So when you're on a Zoom call or a conference call, even though you have permission to be on at home working, everybody knows you're at home working. When the dog barks in the background or the kid starts crying or noises happen, lawnmowers, all that kind of stuff that, that go on in life, when that comes across, it's just your first instinct is like, oh, they're home. How much are they really paying attention to this meeting? What I'm saying? Are they really invested in this issue that we got going on? Or are they just kind of like half into their life at home and half into the meeting? Even though they were all doing it, it's that initial first thought of like, oh, they're not really into this meeting. They're not really paying attention. So if you eliminate that impression of strange background noises, you don't have to worry about that. It's a huge anxiety when you are on a conference call and you are concerned about your background noise. You looking at your dog on the couch over there and you know if a dog walks by, they're going to get up and start barking at the dog. It's an anxiety like, oh, I need to move. I need to make sure the dog, I need to put the dog away. I need to make, see what time it is and make sure the kids aren't coming home right now. That anxiety takes away from your concentration of the meeting that you're on. This will help eliminate like, all right, if the dog starts barking or the kids come home or there's loud noises, Anchor's got me covered. It's going to shut out that background. They won't be able to hear it. Also, a lot of speaker phones out here today are your traditional box phones that would sit on a desk table. I know the ones that I had when I was out, it looked like a little spider where it had four legs and a center thing. So it's a huge speaker phone for a whole conference. This is a little more modern, I guess you would say, uh, its shape and size and ability to hold on to your phone and magnetically attach to it. So I do like that. And it's very small. It doesn't take up a lot of space at all, but like a coffee cup size. And the ability that it doesn't have to be charged in or have to be plugged in all the time takes away from all the cord mess in the back. But at the end of the day, when you're done, you can go ahead and just let it charge overnight and then you're good to go for the next day and you can move it around. You can change spots. So if you're in the kitchen now making your lunch, but you're still in a meeting, you can bring this with you and be in the kitchen and cut out the background noise in the kitchen as you make your lunch and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna take the speaker around the house and kind of show you what it looks like in different locations and how you can have it set up. Again, uh, this top piece here can fold flat down if, you, if you're needed for storing or you prefer to have it like this and you just talk to it. You don't need to have it be looking at the screen or you can move it up 70 degrees, good angle of visibility from here and you can go all the way down. The main highlighted feature on this thing is its ability to shut out background noises. Now, how does it do that, right? What well, it learns. Uh, I'm gonna show you here and I run through it of how I set this thing up. I recorded the screen on my phone as I did it. I'm gonna run through that right now. Like any other speaker, you wanna go to their app, iPhone or Android, you have an app out there. You go download from Anchorworks, download it. You'll see an icon of what the speaker phone looks like. You select that device you wanna add to run you through that process. Then we'll talk about voice print recognition, where it's gonna wanna learn who you are and what you sound like. First, it kinda it listens around and checks the ambient noise around you. So you're gonna be quiet for the first couple of seconds while it checks the surround around you. And then it'll tell you to go ahead and go and record your voice. So you're gonna read this thing off verbatim down to the end. 
uh, and then it'll tell you whether it's successful or unsuccessful and to try again. I I messed up reading a couple of times and I had to redo it, but that's my own fault. But just take your time, read it as smoothly as you can, and then you'll be good to go. Doesn't take that long. So what that will do is that it really will focus in on your voice. So even when your kids come in the background and say, hey mom or hey dad, it doesn't recognize that voice and will block it out. So before I even test it out, I'll just tell you a quick how I tested it myself. I got it set up first time and I called my wife upstairs and I said, all right, how does it sound? She said, no, she's always aggravated with me. She's like, what, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing a review video on this on speakerphone. How, what does it sound like? She's like, it sounds fine. Does it sound good? She's like, well, yeah, it sounds like you're normal talking on the phone. I'm like, okay, great. Um, can you hear this? Hello, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, I hear you fine. Do you hear me snapping? No. I'm like, are you serious? She's like, yeah, I didn't hear any snapping. All right, what about now? And I'm just doing this. Like, Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I'm like, what? All right, let's get into this. So that's my first initial impression with someone listening to me on this speaker was, I can't hear anything but you. That's a good start. So you might be asking, what is this magic that it's doing? Well, we're in the world of AI. So they have developed an AI that they said looks at 50,000 plus different sounds and be able to know what those sounds are and block out those kind of sounds. They call it Voice Radar 3.5. Doesn't really matter to you. It's just what matters is they've put a lot of technology into this to find a way to say, hey, we know what dogs sound like. We know what clapping, banging, lawn mowers, leaf blowers. We know what those sound like. So let's record those, add this to this AI technology that's built into the speaker. So it's not having to go from the cloud and be like, block that out. It's all built inside here. So it knows that's a dog barking, shut that off. We don't want to hear that. All we want to hear is the voice only. Uh, you can turn this off. So if you actually do want to have maybe a, a group with your kids singing happy birthday or something like that to grandma, all you got to do is hit the button on the side here that will cut off this noise cancellation. So you can do like a regular speakerphone kind of deal. But then when you want to kick it back in, push that button and we're good to go. Some of the noises they say that it can block out, just for an example, a tapping of a pen, a baby crying. That's a big one. You have a newborn at home uh, and you're trying to conduct a meeting and that baby starts going off. You know, stopping that to get something to eat. Eating, lawnmower noises traffic and noises so if you live in new york or a big city and you got sirens going off in the background all that kind of stuff you're good to go they got you covered so what's cool about these four speakers and what they do is it's uh 48 kilohertz but what it allows you to do is that you can stand up and walk around so if you're a pacer and as you do your meeting and you got you got your notes in front of you if you, if you circle around the speaker no one's gonna know because it's gonna pick you up and change how it how it picks you up around the speaker, it rebalances the volume. So if I'm on the back side of it, it sounds just as fine as if I'm on the front of the speaker talking. So that gives you the ability to kind of free and walk around the room in like a three meter area is what you want to stay around the speaker to pick you up normally. Like I talked about before, about through Kickstarter, how you get some discounts. So listed in the description below will be a link to first come first serve folks that click on the link and get an exclusive basically way to buy the speaker at a discounted rate so use the link below do it quickly if you're interested in the speaker and want to grab it for a cheaper price and then you can get it through kickstarter a lot cheaper you're welcome so i also would love to hear some comments down below of some awkward things that happened to you in meetings where something happened and it was pretty awkward in the meeting for that to happen it could be some gross stuff, some funny stuff, or whatever it is, put it down below and we'll chat about it. It'll be fun. Last thing I wanna talk about before we start testing this thing, it has a five watt output for sound, 360 sound around the speaker. I think it's time to test this thing out. So first up, we're gonna test the sound when it comes to phone calls, cause that's what the whole thing is about. We're gonna set it up, get that going right now. Let's do it.
All right, I'm gonna uh, talk a little bit and I want you to let me know if you hear this. So I'll start. Do you hear anything else going weird going on right now? I'm just kind of talking. One, two, Can three, you buckle that? my shoe. Do you hear anything else going weird going on right now? I'm just kind of talking. No, I just hear you talking. One, two, three, you buckle my shoe. One, two, three, four, open the door. One, two, three, four, open the door. I just hear you talking. All right, now what Emma's going to do is she's going to go around the kitchen and just kind of move plates around and make some noise while I continue to talk about nothing. All right, here we go. Plate making noise in the background. So we went to the store the other day and we had to buy some fish because the fish were about to be hungry. And then the fish got hungry, so I fed the fish. All right, here we go. Plate making noise in the background. So went to the store the other day and we had to buy some fish because the fish were about to be hungry and then the fish got hungry so i fed the fish and then after they fed the fish the fish were really happy and said thank you for feeding me and then i went and fed the dog and then the dog came over and started barking at me but but and then after they fed the fish the fish were really happy and said Thank you for feeding me. And then I went and fed the dog. And then the dog came over and started barking at me. But, but. That's okay, because I like dogs. But sometimes I, they're kind of annoying. Um, anything else right now that's going on in the world, the world of craziness. But as of right now, hopefully none of the noise that she's making right now comes across on the other side. That's okay. I like dogs, but sometimes they, they're kind of annoying. Um, anything else right now is going on in the world, the world of craziness. But as of right now, hopefully none of the noise that she's making right now comes across on the other side. If it doesn't, that's, it's amazing. It truly, it's amazing if this doesn't come across. Imagine having a conference call like this with, with a crazy child and trying to put the plates away in the background, so. All right, next up, we're gonna to try to get the dog to bark. If it doesn't, that's, it's amazing. It truly, it's amazing if this doesn't come across. Imagine having a conference call like this with, with a crazy child and kind of put the plates away in the background, so, all right. Who is that at the door? So right now, Lulu is barking. Can you hear her? Can you hear the dog barking, Amy? Um, you're louder. I'm louder than the dog? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you hear the dog right now? It's barking right now. Do you hear it right now? I'm trying to decide if his bark works when I'm no. talking. Okay. So when no. you're so when you're talking, it shuts it off. But if you go silent, you can hear a little bit of the background bark. <coughs> Got it. Thanks for the test. That was pretty extreme. So I would say if it cuts out 90% of that, it's a win. So what do you think? Leave in the comments below what you thought the sound was when it comes to what it sounded like from the, the person who's delivering the sound to what the receiver heard on the other end of the line. Let me know what you thought. I thought it was pretty amazing for what it can do. Let's do a quick sound test when it comes to speaker quality and music. So we'll do that right now. Show some examples of some music. This song happens, got a hold on me, won't let go. A truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. I couldn't 
tell you what she's doing with me She's so damn out of my league She's a little bit crazy on the weekends Dancing in her red dress And I love the way she looks in my eyes So I just want you to hear the sound at low, lowest volume uh, So if you did have it at your desk playing like background music that What it would sound like so I'll show you What do you think of the sound quality? I mean, for an office desk speaker that does an amazing speakerphone, I'm pretty happy with the sound quality of this thing also. Less than 200 bucks. They're advertising MSRP as $179 or $180 at launch. Hey guys, again, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe down below for more videos. We have some more coming out this week. So pretty excited about that. Awesome speaker. Thanks, Anchor. And we'll see you in the next one. Remember, down below, check out those links to get some money off. Yeah, who doesn't like sales?